You've heard me say this before, but they're doing a construction outside, so it's gonna be a little bit loud, unfortunately. So, it is what it is. This video is gonna show you how to install Mean ROM on, I'm sorry, Mean Bean, which is based on Jelly Bean for the Evo 4 GLTE. This video will apply to pretty much every future update. So, even if you're installing Mean Bean 0.6, or 1.5 or 7.9. Most of the time gonna be the same exact install process. If it varies, just check the description. I'll update that if I need to. First things first, you need a rooted Android device and you need custom recovery. If you don't know how to root, the easiest way to obtain root, I'm okay, I'm not gonna describe all the steps. Just go to the Dirty Raccoon page, I'll link in the description below, and that'll tell you all the steps because those steps might change and I don't want this video to become inaccurate with time. So obtain S off because that's gonna be the easiest way to install things and not run into any major trouble. If you wanna stay S on, this ROM will install just fine because it has an S on installer by X Haas. I recommend S off because you can update your radios, which is mandatory. Otherwise, you have to relock your bootloader, run the official RUU, get the brand new H boot, and have S on and be restricted. So it's up to you what do you want to go S off or if you want to stay S on, but I much prefer S off. So, what you need to do is click the link in the description. It'll take you to Mikey XDA's thread on Mean Bean for the Evo 4 GLTE, and then you need to click and download the very latest version when you're browsing that page. That's pretty much all you need is that one file. I'll also link to the super wipe zip that I'm using in this video. And also I'm gonna install this maybe a little bit different than you've seen me doing before or with other people's install videos. So we're gonna open up the Google Play Store and then we're gonna search for titanium backup. If you don't have it installed, go ahead and install it. You have to be rooted. That's just the change log that happens every time it gets updated. And by the way, this is a case for my Evo 4 GLTE that is charging my battery. With 1% on your Evo 4 GLTE and a fully charged Savio battery, you can get about 75 to 80% battery out of that battery it comes with. And then you can just hot swap the charged one right here and you're good to go. I'll have a full review of that later, but I know you're gonna ask me what case I'm using, so that's why I'm saying that. I'll have a link to that video in the description of the video you're watching. So we're gonna go ahead here to backup and restore, and we're gonna click edit filters, and then clear and check. And then we're gonna press the batch icon, press backup all user apps and system data, and press the little checkbox, and it'll go through and back everything up. Once you're done, you can go to schedules, and you can sync to Dropbox if you want to, and if you have the pro version. If you don't see Dropbox in there, just go to Preferences, and then check Enable Dropbox. And then it will reveal that little Run button right there. When that's done, I also recommend doing this. Press Menu, Create Update.zip. The only thing I'm gonna change here is System Application. That way it can't be removed accidentally, or if you're installing Titanium Backup on someone else's phone, and they keep uninstalling it. Just create an update.zip, make it a system app, and they won't be able to install it because they won't know any better. And then I'm also gonna name it Titanium Backup 573 just so I know which version I'm installing. And I'm gonna press the little checkbox. Now I also recommend downloading Goo Manager from the Google Play Store, which I don't have right now. Install, press accept and download, and then wait for it to install. Open it up, it's gonna ask you for root access, grant or allow depending on which super user you're running, and then press menu, install OpenShift Recovery, Press yes, and if you're not sure which version you're running, just go ahead and press yes, it doesn't hurt to do that. If you know for a fact that you have 2310 installed, don't worry about this, just press no. I'm gonna go ahead and press yes, so you can see that it counts down. And it downloads very, very quickly. It's not gonna ask you for any input at all, it's just gonna start installing it. Every now and then it'll reboot, so when you're doing this, make sure you're not doing anything else. Recovery has been installed. We didn't get a reboot, sweet. So we've downloaded the ROM, we made an update.zip for Titanium Backup, that way we can restore our Google account and we don't have to sign into the Play Store just to get Titanium Backup. And we also have the Super Wipe zip. We've got three zips that we're gonna flash. The Super Wipe is not mandatory and the Titanium Backup update.zip is not mandatory. If you wanna do it the easy way, just press Reboot Recovery and it'll automatically put you into recovery. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it manually. All right, whenever you're power down, just hold the volume down button and press the power button for just a second and let go. 
there we go. I do recommend you update your radios. It's pretty much mandatory. Again, if you're S on, you can't do it through your bootloader. You have to relock your bootloader. You have to run the RUU. You, it's, it's a little bit of a mess because then you have to unlock again. You have to root again. When you're S off, you don't have to worry about any of that. As you may or may not be able to see, I have one, one, two, one, 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 nine as my radio. And I still have the original 1.12H boot with S off. I have a video on how to change the bootloader banner, which is my Evo 4 GLTE playlist. And I changed it to what would Josh do? Of course, you can change it to anything that you'd like. So we're gonna press volume down one time to get to recovery and press power. And again, that's something else I also customized with Regala and Oz bootloader customizer tool. So one of the first things I'm gonna recommend you do is go to backup and backup your system, data, boot. I highly recommend using enable compression and if you have an external SD card, please make sure you use that. I say that because the internal storage is for your apps and your app data. So if you have like Batman, Asphalt, Need for Speed Most Wanted or anything like that installed, you really need to save that internal storage. So that's why I'm saying use the external. If you don't have an external SD card, then you have no choice. Backing up your recovery, I don't recommend doing that because if you update to 23, to five and it fixed a major bug with 2310 and you restore this Nandroid, then you're gonna keep getting that 2310 over and over and over again every time you restore it. So it's completely up to you, but I don't recommend doing it. And cache will rebuild itself. As you see, it's pretty much empty right now anyway. So an enable compression will of course make a smaller file size. Also, I highly recommend setting your backup name Also, I highly recommend setting your backup name just because if you go to restore something, you don't want to see just see a date because if you're restoring six different Androids just to find the specific one you need. So in this situation, we would do like stock with root. I know I didn't spell that right. I don't care. Press go and then swipe to back up. If you don't want to use the super wipe method, then go to wipe, factory reset, and swipe. That will factory reset your phone good enough to install the ROM. But in this situation, I'm going to install the Super Wipe Zip, which pretty much does a really good factory reset. Go to install, and what I did was I put it on the internal storage so that way it would flash faster. In this order, we're gonna choose the Super Wipe, add more zips, the Mean Bean, add more zips, and the titanium backup. Again, if you did a factory reset to the wipe option, all you have to do is install the mean bean. I'm installing the titanium backup because that's a preferred option and it's completely up to you whether you do that or not. That's just gonna give us titanium backup as soon as the ROM starts up and we don't have to sign into our Google Play account to download it. Like if this is someone else's phone and you don't know their Play Store login, you can just restore their Play Store account with titanium backup since you're doing it through the recovery and you're not actually going to the Play Store to download it. At this point, we're just gonna swipe to start flashing it. And it's going to wipe everything it needs to wipe except your internal and external storage. It will leave those alone. Now it's actually installing the ROM itself. Again, this will apply to mean ROM 06, 07, 1.5, 2.3. If it does change slightly where there's an extra process, I will definitely keep you up to date in the description. I know many of you that are subscribed to me are like, I know how to install a ROM, I don't need to watch this. This is for the people that are flashing a ROM for the first time, or it's been a really long time since I've done it and I don't want to do it wrong. Again, if you're S on, this will install just fine as if you were S off. All thanks to XHOSX and Mikey XDA for including it in his installer. Now it's flashing the Titanium Backup thing and that was really quick. So we're going to reboot the system and we should see the Mean Bean boot up screen. You get the mean ROM thing, but then it switches over to mean bean. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let it charge. This battery is about dead. The Sadio battery that's inside the case. And I'll just swap this one out whenever that one dies. And then the dead one that's in here will charge in this thing in like three or four hours. Again, I'll do a separate review of that here. Maybe tonight. Who knows? I will tell you right now, the first boot up does take a little bit. If it sits there for two or three minutes, don't freak out. If it sits there for 10 minutes, 
then you might want to freak out and do a wipe, install it, try again. Also make sure that you're verifying your MD5 when you download. A bad download will cause your phone not to boot up or to install right in the first place or anything like that. In the description, I'll have a link to WinMD5 Sum. It's a program for Windows that I really like and I use, and it will verify that the MD5 matches. If you use Firefox, you can use an add-on called Down Them All, and it gives you an option to verify the Shy One, Shy, uh, like all the Shy, S-H-A, things and it'll also verify md5s when it's done downloading and if it's a bad md5 like it doesn't match it'll ask you if you want to retry to download it or if you want to delete the bad download or keep the bad download it's my honest opinion that mean rom and mean bean are the best roms you could put on your device and since mean bean is based on jelly bean and not ice cream sandwich i recommend choosing that instead again if you're on the fence on which ROM to try, seriously, look no further than Mean Bean or Science Mod 10 if you're an AOSP kind of person. First thing you're gonna notice is that little battery circle thing at the top. I really, really like that because it doesn't just say, hey, your battery's full. Hey, your battery's half full. Hey, your battery's about to die. Hey, you're dead. <laughs> This is completely up to you, but I don't recommend you having this enabled. Again, whether you uncheck it is up to you, but I always uncheck it because basically it'll turn your Wi-Fi off or on and it'll turn 3G and 4G. It'll try to decide for you what to turn on. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're nowhere near a router and you have your Wi-Fi off and it turns on all of a sudden, it's because of this. I don't have this phone activated, but I've been heavily thinking about it considering this case charges your freaking battery. I just press skip. I'm not worried about it. I use titanium backup. Also make sure with titanium backup that you're not going on a restore spree. Meaning only restore stuff that would take you absolutely forever to earn back. Like if you've gotten really far in a game and you want to restore that progress, go ahead and do that. But like something like ad free or ES file explorer or anything like that or it's just a couple little options that you could set within four or five seconds do not restore that restoring that can cause conflicts and apps to force close and things just to simply not work so only restore stuff that you absolutely know that you can never get that far again or would take you a year to set up like tap -a talk you've got to sign into all your accounts hand sent you've got 114 different settings stuff like that go ahead and restore just know that it could cause complications and you might be reinstalling your ROM because you restored something like system data from another ROM. Something you never ever want to do. In here you can add your Google account, your Dropbox account, your Facebook account, Flickr, Hotmail, Twitter. Just press on each one and it'll ask you to log in and then it'll bring you back to this screen and you just log into another. Google knows everything there is to know about me, so I just leave those checked, and I agree, and I agree, and then I like getting emails when someone puts a comment on a video so I can quickly reply to it and staying in the know. And plus with this case, you can go from a dead battery to an almost full battery and then just swap it out with a fresh one that took three hours to charge in here way before this one dies. I have a feeling in time that when you drag this down, it'll be just like before, and you'll have a little quick settings. Of course, this is, you know, within the first few days of the release of Jelly Bean, so it's not completely done yet. It's very stable. Nothing doesn't work. Your camera works. <laughs> You've got tons of tweaks here and there, and you don't have a lot of blow. You have the necessary stuff. Titanium Backup came with it because I installed it through the update.zip. Comes with Wi-Fi Tether by default. That's pretty cool. OTA Updater is pretty freaking awesome. If Mikey X Day updates his ROM, you'll get a notification on your phone and then it'll download it with, and I recommend doing Wi-Fi because these downloads are like, you know, four, five, six, seven hundred megabytes. So you'll automatically get a notification up here and you just click on it and download it. And then you just press install, it'll reboot you in recovery, install the ROM and reboot back. I have had issues where I didn't do a full reboot and it took me into recovery and I had to manually install it, but that's not my DXDA's fault. So, so now we have titanium backup and we're not logged into our play account. You can just go up here to backup, restore, edit filters and do accounts. And then you can just restore those if you had backed them up. I am going to do a full review of that ROM, so please make sure you subscribe if you like what you see because I'm going to do a full review of it. I have been playing with it since version 0.1 and already lots have been changed, added, and improved greatly. You have your recovery, bootloader, 
restart, power off. It's very nice. If you need to install something, you can do it real quickly. Give me just a second to log into all of my accounts. All right, so I've added all of my accounts. Just press the add button and choose which one you want to add. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it automatically posts when I upload a new video because sometimes YouTube sub boxes are broken and you don't get notified if someone uploads a video or you are subscribed to a lot of people and you miss certain people's videos. So please follow me on Twitter if you like my videos. And then we just press back. And that was under accounts and sync right there. Under display gestures and buttons, it's completely up to you. But what I do is I go to the recent apps button and I make it the menu button. Under about phone, we're gonna see Mean Bean 05. Again, if you have a later version, you're gonna see that instead of what you're seeing now with me. Software information, Android 411, HTC Sense 4 Plus, baseband, comes with a stock kernel. Mikey XDA is very, very picky when it comes to kernels, and he does include other kernels that provide overclock, but they have to be stable kernels, otherwise he won't use them. Nothing wrong with that, he's just very thorough of everything that he does. See, I can just press this, and then go to my apps. If I want to go to my recent apps, just hold this down for a second, and it's just like normal. And then you don't get that stupid little bar at the bottom on some apps like Speed Test or Facebook, because they're not ICS compliant. Again, I've been using this since 0.1 the day he released it, so I could honestly give a full review right now, but I don't have time. Just wait until it hits version 1.0 or higher. I will definitely have a full review of it then. I cannot stress that this ROM is one of the best out there if not the best. Mikey puts a lot of hard work and time into his ROMs. If you feel like leaving him a donation, feel free to do so. I, in fact, if you got a few dollars to spare, I recommend sending it his way. When you go to the link in the description that takes you to that thread, there'll be a link that says donate to him or whatever, a donation button. And if you have a few dollars to spare, please send it his way. If you want to help me out, just give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate when you do that. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down there. It'll notify you when I post new videos. And also, please follow me on Twitter. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. Thank you for sticking around and getting to this point of the video. Sorry about all the loud noises. That was outside of my control. And I really, really wanted to get this video out there for you guys to enjoy.